Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to a place in space. I've been thinking about how to introduce this video for a while and I've realised I've got no sodding clue. So I'm just going to wing it. Not that I'd do anything else anyway. Um, this is the kind of video we've been looking forward to filming for a long time, really. It's no secret to many of you that the comic market these last few years has been probably the most exciting it's ever been and two more dynamic than it's ever been. I know everyone's into it, but also the fluctuations, the sheer rises and the falls and just the followings of the market, it's crazy. I've never seen this many people into it, least of all us, I've never seen this many other people into it. So for us to be holding this is really quite cool. Um, in a perfect world, I would show you every single comic in this box. Today's not that day, but we will get there. This is a collection of stuff which will be going exclusively in the store very shortly. Excuse me. And sooner rather than later, we will hope to have it online as well. I do want to show you a few because so far I'm tantalizing you with hopes and dreams and a hell of a lot of not very much. So let's get to something a little bit fit. This is probably, without exaggeration, one of the finest collections a place in space has ever bought in and I could not be more excited about what we've been rummaging through for the last couple of days. I just want to show you a few. Some of you may already know what I'm holding up, but I will go through one by one by one. So if you want to join me for a few minutes, these are really bloody cool. Take your time. If you've got 10 minutes, stick with me, because this is about to get really bloody just, yeah. It's the kind of moment that we don't get to do that much, and I really wish we got to do more of. Let's kick off. Star Wars 42. First Boba Fett in, in comics. It's quite an important distinction there. Um, some of you may know Sir Robert Fett to his mother. Bob to everyone else. We've never had that before. First modern age, or the first modern Two-Face. He did, of course, exist in the Golden Age before this, but looked nothing like him. A lot of proto-characters exist all the way back when. And then when they actually get finalised, developed, and everything they come through is many, many different formations of technically the same character. But yeah, Two-Face as we know him, one half of them all looking deranged and the other not, that first appears here. First Mr. Miracle. Helpfully I've written First Mr. Miracle on that, despite the fact it's got First Mr. Miracle written in giant honking neon letters across the top, so I was being a clever boy earlier. But yeah, First Mr. Miracle. Mr. Miracle number two, first granny goodness. Forever People number one, first dark seed, depending on what way you want to look at it. Obviously, he appears in Jimmy Olsen on the back of a TV screen, kinda. First dark seed, ladies and gentlemen. The books, I'm four books in, and this is the kind of stuff we don't really see very much in Britain. First step and wolf. Massive, 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 massive character within the world of the Justice League. We've never had this, ever, ever. Barry Windsor Smith cutting his pencils in as fine a way as an artist ever could. Conan the Barbarian, number one from Marvel. Never had it. I dare say we probably won't have it for very long. But it's very cool to have it for the moment. A book that's literally going nuclear right now. Putin could probably harness this and power some stuff and would probably avoid the war. For those of you who don't know the books, that's fine. I don't either. There's some of these things, there's just so much to know in the world of comics, and this is one of those moments where you constantly find yourself looking at stuff going, what's this? And you dig through it for 30 seconds and you find yourself holding the first appearance of a massive character. And I've, I was actually getting goosebumps earlier when I was unpacking this stuff, because I'm, we've been, you deal with comics all day, every day, and you love it, and it's wicked. But when you're literally holding history, because the vast majority of the books we're rustling through now are minimum 50 years old. Just say that twice to yourself and you realise what we're doing. And it's very cool. Submariner 20. Iconic Dune cover. Submariner 8. Iconic Thing cover. I've seen pictures of these all my life. I've seen them in the overstreets. I've seen them on posters. I've never actually held many of these books. This one we have had before, but this is a much nicer copy than the last one we did, which is the first new Miss Marvel costume. The amount of times I've seen pictures of this and I've never actually held one. 
Iron Man Submariner number one. Web of Spider-Man 36, I just wanted to chuck this in as well because there's so much kind of, you know, slightly more up-to-date stuff if you want a first tombstone in your life. We have one now. Again, how long they will last, I'm not sure. First new Black Widow costume, Amazing Spider-Man 86. Just huge books. I didn't even know this next one existed, which was Amazing Spider-Man 101, second print, first Morbius. Didn't know he had a second print. I knew Pete's running around with his eight arms in the front looking like an absolute bat. But I didn't know they did a silver second print. Just when you think you've got comic sus, they come out of nowhere and surprise you every single goddamn time. The Mighty Thor, 168, a Origin of Galactus. You find me a better looking Thor cover than that. Galactus looking all kinds of renegade purple and monstrous. There's about five kinds of puns in there, but seeing it's before Watershed, we won't do that right now, ladies and gentlemen. Join me after 12 o'clock. The Mighty Thor, 148, first wrecker. Grant, are you watching? You're probably not, actually. I'll tell you it's online. The Mighty Thor 229. Now, this is a book that I can pause for two seconds about. It's attracted great acclaim in the last couple of years. The first ever advert for Incredible Hulk 181, I think, is on page 22 of this book. The market's gone crazy in a fabulous way. Once upon a time, a first appearance was a first appearance, and now any sense of the character, fans are all over it. I understand why. Like, you try and find a 181 these days, and it's getting pretty hard. But this contains the first ever printed picture of Wolverine on an American comic page. There's an audience for that. Thor 126, first Thor title. Coming in, of course, from the previous tales. Incredible Hulk, first Doc Samson. This is 141. Absolutely awesome. Incredible Hulk 102. This is the first proper Incredible Hulk title. After, of course, I think tales ended on issue 101. And then, aside from the preceding uh, six issues of Hulk, way back when, that is the very first issue of the first proper ongoing Hulk title. When you say those words out loud and then realise what you're holding, it all gets a little bit cool. We were just talking about 181. German version. German facsimile. Very cool. And this is a snippet, ladies and gents, of what is in... This collection, this is one box out of about 16 we're going to be going through over the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm well aware many of you may have tuned out at this point, and I'm apologies because I know this is a little bit longer than what we normally do, but just stick with me through to the end here. Another 181, signed by Roy, Roy Thomas, and I think Herb, is Herb on there? Herb Trimp is on there, probably one of the most iconic Hulk creators ever. I will use that, ever. Incredible Hulk, Tales to Astonish, 93. First Silver Surfer outside of Fantastic Four I've written, apparently, according to my own notes. I should have remembered that. I didn't, just because the wealth of content we're dealing with right now is a little bit overwhelming to me. Fantastic Four, 112. I know many of you will have seen this cover. For very good reason. It's one of the finest things to have to drop outside of the States. That's just beautiful. Fantastic Four, 57. Again, an iconic Doom cover. Fantastic Four 46, first Black Bolt. We had this issue in a couple of months back. It lasted about four, four or five minutes on the wall. I believe my colleague was putting them out as someone was pulling it off the wall. Fantastic Four 72, one of the most iconic Jack Kirby covers he ever did, which when we're talking about Jack is saying something. And I thought I'd end on this one, really, because if you don't know a lot of what I've just shown you, there's a good chance you might know this, which is the very first Galactus and the second ever Silver Surfer. That is Fantastic Four, issue number 49, and it's just a thing of goddamn beauty. That's it for the minute, but keep on checking back. We're gonna have a lot of new videos coming about this, because frankly, we wanna show them. They're beautiful. And they will be here behind me on the wall very soon, and in the near future, hopefully online as well. So thank you for joining me today, ladies and gents. That was fun. We'll do more of that. Much love, and we'll catch you very soon.